If you have a YouTube channel and you don't have up to 4,000 watch hours, I'm going to show you how to get this 4,000 watch hours using Google Cloud. Now, if you have a Google account, you can practically create what we call a virtual computer. So the concept is very simple. We're going to create a VPS. We're going to run simulations. These simulations is we're going to create lots of browsers, like so many browsers. They will pop up with only one intention, to try to watch our videos. I'll click on where it says start for free. You can see the domain on the top, cloud.google.com. Okay, so it's asking me for my account information. This is where I would just accept with this email because this is one of my emails. It's going to tell me I have $300 in credits. So if you have a YouTube channel you want to monetize, you're likely not going to spend any money doing this because most of the things you're going to be getting will be for free. However, this is where there's a problem. It's going to ask you for payment details. So if you're in Nigeria and you want to do this, like past this stage, the Gray is the only platform that works at the moment. So I'm going to put my Gray card over here. So I'm going to pause this video. I'll put the Gray card and I'll come back. I'm able to add the card from Gray. For this thing to work, you need a VPN. So I kind of use NordVPN over here, which is the VPN you see. So I use NordVPN and I choose the US. And Gray gives this card that comes with a US address. You have to use a VPN. So once you, you show up from the US using that your new IP from the VPN, then it can let you choose, you know, a US um, location. So I put in the address, the billing details from the US location Gray gave me. And now the card has been added. So I'm going to click on start free trial. At the moment I do this, Google is going to give me $300 free credits. Now, what I would simply do on this tutorial is to show you how to create a VPS, then install your cake bot on it. Okay, so how would you like to get started? Other, um, pff, I'm not sure. I can't answer. I'm not sure. I can't even answer. Just take me to the next. Okay, so now it says activate your full account. I'm gonna click here. Let me zoom this so you can see my screen clearer. I'm going to click activate full account. It's going to tell me activate. So I'm going to activate. So now I have $300 free credit to buy or to set up a saver. So my next step right now would be to start getting a VPS. But to do that, I'm going to click on this option over here, which is this one you're currently seeing me rotate on. And I'm going to click on something like a um, called a compute engine. This is it over here. And I'm going to click on compute engine. So when you start with Compute Engine, it will be disabled by default. You have to turn it on, like you have to enable the service. So I'm going to click on Create Instance. Um, it should tell me to enable the service because I've not enabled it before now. Um, okay, this is it over here. It should tell me to like enable the service. So I'm going to click on Enable. Now, this part will take quite some time. Okay, back. It's been re-enabled. So now Compute Engine has been enabled. So I'm just going to click on Manage over here. And it would take me to where I can now create a virtual machine, which is a VM instance. So when it opens like this, ignore this one. Just go back to Compute Engine. When Compute Engine opens, you're going to see it like this, right? Click on VM instance. So when you click a VM instance, VM simply means virtual machine. So by default, there is this slide over here, but I was able to take out the slide. So now you just see, see it's the way it is. Okay, so when you when you click on VM instance, which is here, click on create instance over here. So I'm going to click on create instance over here. I think you can also click it here too. Both of them, this up one or down or whichever. So when you click on VM instance, it would open up this way. So this is where it will start asking you what kind of saver do you want to create? So what we want to create is we want to create a Windows saver. Now you could create a Linux saver, but we're creating a Windows saver. Okay, let me just call it okay, but okay, but so the location and the time zone, I don't really care. Um, the only thing that I care again on it's the kind of computer I want to create. So where it says E2 medium, I don't know if you can see it here, E2 medium. So where it says E2 medium, I'm going to click on the E2. Um, by default, it gives you like a 4 gig computer. If you're trying to monetize your YouTube channel, a 4 gig computer, it's nothing. Like you, 
doesn't do anything. So try and get something better. So because I'm using my $300 free credits, I would hop up to like the 16 gig. And why am I using a better computer? Now, if you use a better computer, it means you'll be able to afford more pop-ups. Like an 8 gig computer, for instance, has a, like the amount, like there's a maximum amount of Chrome um, browsers it can pop up. So now let's say you have 8 gigs of RAM. So you have 8 gigs of RAM and you have um, 12 browsers running at the same time. So now this simply means you can have like 12 browsers running at the same time doing simulation. This is your computer now. Say this is your PC. On your computer or your VPS, whichever, computer or VPS, any of them, but the VPS is more advised, right? This task is going to be three to five minutes. So this simply means you're running a simulation. This simulation always goes within three minutes to five minutes. And now you have about 12 browsers running the simulation. So at every point in time, at every single point in time, consistently, there is always 12 browsers running a task for you. Now, if out of these 12 browsers running, we have, let's say, eight of them, eight of them are watching your videos. This simply means eight of them will be streaming one of the videos on your YouTube channel, while the other four could be doing something like watching a random video on YouTube. So we'll call this a warm up, right? I'm going to show you how it works because you don't just drive new traffic to the YouTube channel. Like, it's not like... Each time a bot opens up a YouTube, it doesn't open it the way Puppeteer does. It doesn't open it the way other people does theirs, where it opens it completely as a new device. Instead, it keeps on turning it on with the re-existing profiles. Now, it will not make sense to you start doing it as I'm doing it. Like, each time you see me drop a new episode, just follow exactly what I'm doing. Your channel will just be monetized at the end of the week. So it might take you monetizing two to three channels before you start actually understanding what each of those things you were doing makes you know sense on for instance some bots which is some browser profiles will be streaming a random youtube video why some of them will be watching your videos which means out of your 12 you have four of them doing random tasks that is unrelated to their targets then you have the other one you know um, streaming videos on the target which is your channel now the idea is the okay bot is able to rotate the browsers where at a particular point in time those browsers they were warming up will not show up streaming your videos. And once that are streaming your videos, we'll let that go back to warm up. So I will show you how to do this. But now 8 gig could give you like 12 browsers. Now 16 gig gives you more, 32 gig gives you more. And now the idea is if you have like a bigger saver, you would even be able to have more simulations running at a particular point in time. So if it takes you one week to monetize a channel, with 16 gig, it should take you less than that to monetize it with 64 gig. So you increase your simulation, the amount of browsers you have popped up. Okay, so back over here, I said I'm going to be using a 16 gig, which is what I've chosen. So I'm going to screw. So I've been able to choose the virtual engine, which is the virtual machine. Now we need to now think about what the operating system is going to be like. So OKBot at the moment has like a Windows version. And um, you can see right now that it has given me an OS called Debian. If you're not familiar with um, software development, this would sound strange. Just click on change over here. So you can change the operating system. So I'm going to change the operating system to Windows, which is a uh, Microsoft Windows, which is Windows Saver. And um, it will ask me what, what version of Windows. So when you leave it at Windows 2025, this is also the same thing as saying Windows 11. So I'm going to leave this as Windows Saver 2025. I'm going to give it like 100 gig because you need actually more storage because of the simulations the bot will be running. You need a huge, you know, um, disk space. So next, I'm going to go to select and that is it. Now, you notice that initially it was cheaper. It was $98. Now, it is now $242. More specifically, this is what is happening. The computer itself doesn't cost much. So, if we're just using the saver itself, we would have been paying um, $97, which is quite fair. So, what is actually expensive at the moment, it's the, you know, Windows 11 um, operating system, which is your normal Microsoft Windows. If we had used this using Debian, which is Linux, for those of us who code, um, it would have been easy to run. Uh, because of the Windows operating system we're using, it's a bit more expensive, giving us $242. Okay, so next, you can see where it says create over here. I'm going to click on create. 
And the moment I do this, it will start creating my computer. So what this simply means now is that it is actually creating a computer that we would now install the OK bot on. Now on this computer, we would install it, set it up, put in our prosy, put our VPN, we would look for YouTube channels that are not monetized, that have low watch hours and we'll get those channels monetized. So see you on the next video where I teach you how to set and install everything and get it all set up and running.